Trinity Tower was one hell of a fight. Probably the most difficult one since I fought that Deathclaw in Concord. My power armor is in need of a lot of repair now. I was able to modify my shotgun up top of the tower to what I wanted to back in Diamond City. I saved Rex Goodman and his, um, his friend Strong, so everything seems to have worked out. Rex Goodman seems to be safe now and is headed over to wherever he came from, where hopefully he won't try to civilize super mutants again. If he does get it into his head to do something like that once more, maybe you should try and civilize raiders. At least they're human, or more human than super mutants. What was he thinking? As for his friend Strong, who now wants to be my friend, I honestly don't know what to do with him. We've killed all the super mutants who live here, or almost all, I think there's still one alive in the middle of the tower. So Strong should be alright, but how long until more come? Raiders or ghouls could show up too. Well, I haven't seen too many ghouls in Boston, but I'm sure they live here as well. If I send Strong to Sanctuary without me accompanying him, he could get killed, or worse, he could kill the people who live there. So, I think the best thing to do for now will be to part ways with him. Perhaps in the future I can come and get him here at Trinity Tower again. Why Rex didn't take his friend with him and dumped him on me, I'll never know. I'd call him a coward, but going to try and civilize a group of super mutants seems to be like the opposite of that. Sounds more like he's crazy, or maybe he was drunk or on chems when he made the decision. Regardless, Strong seems to be under my care, at least for now. But I cannot take him with me, not at the moment anyway. I have Nick Valentine to rescue, who will hopefully use his detective skills to help me find Sean. I'll pay him anything I have for that. I really will. So, this is what takes priority. That and sleep. I haven't slept in quite a while now. Okay, Strong. Hey, hey. Hey, Strong. Yes? You're gonna have to stay here. You can go now. Strong, go back to tower. Practice smashing things. Well... Hopefully he'll kill any other super mutants that come here that don't like him, but... Ah, uh, gotta get out of this armor. It's not really providing me that much protection, but I'm not abandoning it. I know the super mutants are too big for it. And I am gonna have to give everything I have to Codsworth, and we're gonna go back and get all those safes up there. Because I have been focusing on picking locks. And with my new skill, I should be able to get through those more difficult locks now. There you are, you little bastard. What? Sound like raiders to me. Okay, let's go get those safes. Huh, I missed this. Damn it. Got a lot of bobby pins, so I don't have to worry about running out. Nice. Duct tape fused, yeah. Nice stuff. Impact purified water blood pack? How did I miss all these things going up the first time? I think that there was a safe right around. Was it here? Yeah. Excellent. Let's see. Can I open it? That's yep. it. Hero weights 10 millimeter fusion cell missiles. <laughs> Sure, I can sell that. Look at this. It's like an arsenal. Mu muzzled armor piercing, 10 minute pistol, pre war money, shotgun shells, silver fork. Somebody was uh, a classic. throwing together everything to survive, I guess. I don't know what the silver fork was for. The one fork that they couldn't live without, I guess. Now, I remember there was it two of them up when we took that long elevator up? I think that's where we have to go. Hey, I found another one. Oh. Yes. 
So I actually picked up a sniper rifle. A heavy sniper rifle. Shotgun shells. I can use that. It's all of this, actually. I'll even take this, uh, sell it. There's, there's still one of those super mutants around here. And there was one more. One more safe. That's where I killed their leader. That goes up. I just need that one other safe. Gold watch. I miss that. This lead up right to Rex, where Rex Goodman was. What was in here, anyway? Look at this. Huh. There we go. Another bobblehead. It's important to do business up close and personal. Yes, Codsworth, of course. Duct tape, turpentine, silver fork. Buff out. A new cherry. Sit back right away. Anything you want to talk about? Some fusion core here. Yeah. Okay, watch out. Would you? Is this where they boiled people alive? And ate them? Breaking off chunks while they're still alive and boiling? Oh. It's actually What's quite that? disgusting. Okay, so well, I'm not sure where this last safe is, but I'm glad I came back up. I know that there's another safe around here. That's the one I just just have. Maybe it's down below. Someone there. Where's this super mutant? Man? I've been everywhere. On me again. Sounds like he's close by. Ah, I've been through here many, many times. Okay. I should probably leave I the building now. Something. How are you doing? Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Go down. Okay, back into the power armor. I don't care about that super mutant, and I don't mean strong. That's up there. Yep. Alright, I have to go find. That's why we came out here. Nick Valentine. Time to get crazy. Who's this way? Kill them all. Uh, also, it has occurred to me that. Uh, when I took that medex, that I became addicted. But I have something that should be able to cure that. I've been saving it. Fixer. I only have one. And hopefully there'll be more out there I can come across. Or somebody back home can make it. There's a chemistry station. I should get rid of it. All these drugs. Terrible for you. Boylston Street. It wasn't this where, uh... The guy who owned this power armor suit. He had a sister who lived on Boylston Street. Arlington Street. Okay, so where I want to go is right through this building. <laughs> Let's go this way. I didn't get any sleep last night. Three weights. Mop. If I could find a place to bed down, it would be nice. Definitely not at that Trinity Towers. Hubris Comics, huh? Oh, look at this. 
Yeah, it's uh Unstoppables. Okay, so here it is. Hubris Comics. Yes, I did. I used to come here. What's this? Some dead scavenger? Auto caps. Well, hello there. 38. Bobby pin. If I want to go in there right now. I do need a place to sleep. But, oh, I'm tired. Maybe we should go in there before I... Apparently he's trapped by somebody. Somebody that's from Good Neighbor. I, need a, I just need a few hours sleep. Unless I want to take a bunch of drugs to keep me awake. I don't really want to do that. I don't have any more of those uh, anti-addict... Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Just aren't doing it. Full of ghouls, this place. Whoa! My pleasure. Kill! Barely holding it. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, what the? Jesus Christ, that's gross. There's still more of them. Good headshot takes a ghoul down. The shotgun, at least, anyway. Still more of them. I don't want to go to sleep in a place like this. Watch out. Okay. This place is filthy and full of ghouls. I can still hear more of them. Pretty more money. Uh, filthy, filthy. Oh, Django's the moon monkey. <laughs> uh, poor scavenger. Hey, this one has a note. Auto cap. 38. What's in that note? Scavenger's note. Can't believe I signed on for this. Who wants this crap? Collectors? The boss says. So, who's the fool here? Them or us? I don't know. What did you ca you came to get comics? That's not why I'm here. I'm here for a place to sleep. I'm kind of regretting it. Awkward moving around with this thing. But Pretty more money. Kubrick's comic store and key. And pre-war money. Yeah. Unstoppable's magazines. Decent shape. Huh, wish I'd brought something to peruse myself. I could see that. Oh, I hate these things. <laughs> Money. Somebody's hand. See if there's anything inside this display case. Sweet. Uh, Krognag's axe. Are you serious? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I do read that comic. Always on good behavior, aren't you? Uh. You always pry this much into the motives of your traveling partners? Just the ones I find particularly interesting. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, 
Playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? <laughs> Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. Hmm. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> The night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Hmm. You know what? I kind of agree with her. Actually, I do agree with her. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly! Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not no. Me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. Oh. Sorry to hear that. This captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. <laughs> the mayor sure wanted to talk after that. Good for you. The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. That's what I said before. If more truth came out in my time, maybe we could have avoided a full <laughs> nuclear war. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? <laughs> of course. Look at this terminal. It's still working. Okay, seems that I have to hack it. Yep, more truth in my day. We need people getting pissed off. We need people fighting back against the system when the system's so corrupt. If you don't do anything, it will collapse. And I saw that firsthand. How come I have not come across one thing yet? My world was destroyed because not enough people stood up. <sighs> Tries reset. Well, I was told that it's randomized how many duds you can remove. Well, that's why I like Piper. She's on the right track. <sighs> okay, players. <laughs> like this zero. Uh, S at the end. Flowing. L at the beginning means it's not it. Skilled could be it. Nice. Was it? 
Order tracking. There's a safe here. August pre-orders. 95% of pre-orders picked up last month. Ran out of Grognak twice. Requesting additional copies of Grognak. 102 Grognak the Barbarian. Lost in the Snows of Lust. <laughs> I was going to get that one. 86 Captain Cosmos. The radioactive spaceman from space. Never really into Captain Cosmos. 31 Tales from the Front. The Red Terror Special. The Red Terror? 18 Underground Life. Uh, Vault Boy Special. Maybe I should have gotten that. Two Mantra Man. Manta Man. Voyages of the Deep. I have read those before. I'm not really into it, though. September pre-orders. Both of the Manta Mans weren't picked up. No more pre-orders for Mr. Freely and Dover. The rest of the Mantas still in boxes. Putting them in the free bin tomorrow. Can we stop stocking these? Yeah, I just never really liked them. Got several inquiries about Silver Shroud comic book rumors. Were they going to put them out? I mean, that was big on the radio for a while. 110, Grognak the Barbarian, Heavy, the Oaken Crown. I was gonna, I wanted to get that. Uh, 85, Captain Cosmos versus the Moonmen. 30 Tales from the Front. Somebody must die. Someone must die. 9, Underground, Life, Timmy's Big Adventure. 2, Man to Man, the Shrimp of Doom. Tales from the Front. Mm. Uh, it's more... It's not really real. It's more... It's got a lot of anti-communist propaganda in it. Our in-store subscription numbers remain dangerously low. We need to start laying on the hard sell. Just remind the customers. We do all the work. They just come in and pick up the issues. Oh, and it's 5% cheaper than doing it as a direct home mail order. Fortunately, we've had some new subscribers. Steven, yeah, I didn't, I didn't subscribe. I just picked them up. Bunch of names here. Okay, back. Safe control. You know what? I'm going to see if I can't pick that. It's too hard, because I've come across a lock. Simpack, I uh, just had no hope of ever picking. Where is the damn safe? Was it hey this? Well, it wasn't this. Display case, it can't be. Okay. I don't know where it is, but... Engage lock? Okay, so it was this. <laughs> Got the key for it. You know if I can like sneak up on one, maybe I can make it easier. Duct tape. Wow. Um, I take it somebody moved the body here. Or another safe. Thirty-eight rounds. Pipe auto pistols are really not worth that much. Pre-war money, shotgun shells. I definitely need the shotgun shells. Manager's note. A stunningly awesome t-shirt. Hmm. Grognak t-shirts? You know what? I like Grognak. Hot rodder t-shirt? Look at all these. Ooh, come on. Let me carry something before you cripple yourself. Uh, you want to carry some of this? Kind of junk. Little bucket. I could use the steel. Dog meat. Dingature. Hey, Okay, Piper, you want to carry some of this? Okay, dog me, get out of the way. Silver shroud. A little beat up. <laughs> I think somebody stood it back up. One of these scavengers. Pre-war money. I'm not going to well, pick there. anything off those... <laughs> uh, Piper, where the hell did you go? Those really disgusting. Like this, this is so gross. Oh. Uh, how the hell was that even... It's like a zombie. It's like a really decayed what zombie. Give a shit. This one's just as bad. Rotten, I guess. Free more money. So there's no other comic books here that are of any use. Piper, there's trade. Help yourself. I'm gonna give you a bunch of stuff here. Oh yeah, that helps. So there's not any comics here that are... W Maybe the scavengers picked them up over the years. And what's here? What is that? Eat ball. <laughs> Maybe if we can get like a... Um, pool table going. Back home. Yeah, I just don't... I think this place has been picked clean. I, I mean, scavengers have come here as well. 
So, what did, I picked up another note, didn't I? I thought I did. Maybe not. Let's get rid of this. Okay, light out. Everybody be quiet. Shh. Oh, it knew where I was. No. Get him. No. I'm not killing anyone. Hey, Codsworth. I imagine the scent of feral ghouls is, is uh, most unpleasant. No, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, it's bad. They're on to us. Kill him. Progress. Typewriter. Oh, scavenger. I wonder what they have on the list, though. I'm curious. Caps. Better to be dead than turn into one of those things. Scavenger list. What were they after here? Stuff worth coming back for. Axe. Boss said it was too heavy to bother with, but someone will buy it. Comic books have to be one or two that are still legible. Always good for a few caps. Storeroom. Just need someone who can pick that lock. Have to check with Carl. Maybe he can get Ken Standish for the job. Damn monkey creeps me out. Yeah. Jangles the moon monkey. There's, this place is full of ghouls. Pack of cigarettes. Some of the tablespoon. Phone. Got it. Well, this looks clean, like it. Well, other than the hole. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, office key. Manager's terminal. I don't even know why I'm checking this out. Oh, I don't have to hack into it. From Tina Hopkins to Vivian O'Dell, subject now an English butler? I came into work today and found another stealth revision to the shooting script. Now the Shroud has an English butler? I keep telling Babowski that we need our core fans to be our evangelists, so we can't keep making these stupid little changes. You have to talk to him before you go on vacation. Otherwise, I swear I'm bringing it up to Pete. What is this? These are the... Uh, this is where they shot the sh sh silver shroud. Or shot, but uh, recorded it. From Tina Hopkins to Vivian O'Dell. Subject, please help. I want to pull my hair out. Babowski has cast and signed a contract with Claire Riddell for the role of the Mistress of Mystery. I don't care how much the tomb of Amon Ra grows. The mistress of mystery is a brunette, not blonde, brown, and definitely not a redhead. And have you heard Claire's voice? The mistress of mystery is confident, a match for the shroud at his best day, not some half-starved waif that's known for her shrill screaming. Shannon Rivers has worked for us for decades. She is the voice of mistress of mystery. End of story. She's even a natural brunette. She's not as young as Claire, but surely we can do something with lighting to help with that. If we don't fix this, I swear I'm walking. I won't have my name in the credits for this train wreck. That sounds like they're shooting a movie. From Aaron Babowski to Vivian O'Dell. Subject regarding Mistress of Mystery casting. Vivi, relax. If it's that important to you, maybe we can put Claire in a wig. But the contract is signed, so this is happening. What's with you guys and Mrs. Rivers anyway? Maybe 20 years ago, but now she's got a face made for radio. Am I right? Claire's got star power and that's what we need. 
I talked with Petey Boy and he's agreed to a couple of new scenes. We need romance and Claire's got the goods. If Tina can't roll with this, then I can fly in one of my boys from Hollywood. He's a class act. I got a full schedule today. Dress rehearsals until 8. This can't wait until you're back from the Bahamas. So if we have to meet, 8's my only window. It's my power armor down there. Oh, can use that table lamp. Watch out. There's a Nuka Cola in there. Uh, I could use one of those. I used to drink a lot of these to burn off the calories. But now I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to focus on working out and exercising because that's all I do. Okay, so, um, Nuka Cola. So what are you thinking about? Cigar What's box. Hot plate. Lamp. Pack of cigarettes. That sells. Some pack of purified water. Still hear them upstairs. Listen to that. Disgusting things. Some radiation in here. Uh, this whole place might be radiated. Let's take some Radex. Actually, I'm going to take two. Come on, bring out the... I'm going to switch to my shotgun. A few more bullets now. Bring out the uh, zombies. Fast zombies. Holds five. Pretty more money. Well, hello there. <laughs> it's worth something. I think it's more valuable today for its. I mean, for cloth than the actual dollars were worth back in my day. Pack of cigarettes. Desk fan. Screwdriver. Fan. Cigarettes. Mentats. Grape Mentats. For the flavor, you see. This place just keeps going up. I think the studio was up top. Whoa! Want some more? Ooh, look at this. 50 caliber, 38 rounds. Yeah. Handcuffs. A, a mine? Pulse mine. Isn't that for robots? Somebody came in here and drank. Possibly did some more than that. Camera, baseball bat, or baseball, I mean. I guess I can take that. Silver Shroud script. Yeah? Okay, this holotape ends contents of the property of Huber's comics, the rights, all rights reserved. Death becomes you draft 18. <sighs> okay, so this is their draft for it. Newly shot footage of the Boston skyline at night. Okay, so they were making a movie. I don't really care. Uh, I did listen to some of the Silver Shroud, but I just don't really, not a big fan. Cigar box, fuse. Empty beer bottles. Producer's terminal. This must have been his room. Aaron Babowski's terminal. Yep. 
Uh, I tried stalling her, but things are spiraling over here. To Aaron Babowski from Evans Richelli. Her agent was having dinner with Maxwell over at the Derby. Not good. Claire's still on board. She loves the script. She especially loves the outfit. You got the shots of that, right? Yowza. So I don't care what's going on over there. We need to sign her before we lose her to the Wisemans or someone else. We looked into that Hopkins contract. It's ironclad. The only way she's out of it is if she walks. Her partner signed over her, his rights to hubris, but she still has hers. If she even thinks of going to a lawyer, you gotta work your magic, Babel. Imagine if we needed her approval. From Vivian O'Dell, the one that wanted the uh, part to be given to somebody else. Mistress of mystery casting. So, um... It's come to attention to hire Claire Riddell. Okay, so we already read that. From Peter Shiner to Aaron Babowski, sub mom, mystery of whatever, casting. Vivi got a hold of me before she left. I got the photos of Claire and she's dynamite. Love the alterations in the costume. It still feels like the comic, but more believable. So I'll back you there, but I'm with Vivi. Mom's a brunette, period. And her voice needs to be strong. Claire's voice isn't. Can we have Shannon dub over Claire's in post? That's the word, right? That would be the best of both worlds. From Tina Hopkins. So they basically just want her for her looks. For the video, for the movie they're making. To Aaron Babowski, uh, subject I quit. Effective immediately, I quit. You can explain to Petey how you lost the lead writer for The Silver Shroud, and after everything Shannon has put up with, if you want to fire her, do it yourself. Manticore has been wanting to hire me for years. Looks like your loss is their gain. Not sure where this goes place we've have we already searched here doesn't look like I have fan cigarettes silver shroud photo it's in good condition still best wishes the silver shroud I'm gonna take this at least we'll be able to see anyone coming in here pretty much can't be much more of this building left. If I can find some place, I gotta sleep. I'm running on adrenaline Let's for a while. Let's get on with it. Where are they? I can hear them. There they are. This one looks a little fresher. Get the hell away from me! What the hell is that in the back? That's a. Glowing like Let's a nuclear reactor. Shit. I'm sorry. Burn. Yes. Oh. Still going. Get the hell away from me. Stay away from Piper, no. you disgusting. No. It's giving me radiation. Get him! Piper! Stay the fuck away from me. Are you okay? <laughs> Glad to help. Holy crap! What the hell? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.